Yo, what's up? It's your boy Daniel Got Hits. Um, I'm a freestyler, uh, musician, I guess you could say uh, Instagram, video, prank, whatever, video person. Uh, I'm here in Prague with Just Freestyle. And yeah, happy to be here, man. Looking forward to this interview. It's gonna be sick. Yes. And I don't need no stylist, yeah. See it, I want it, I buy it, yeah. Got three phones, can't dial it. So uh, I started freestyle in 2008. So I was always just into football as a young kid. And uh, I saw like all the Nike commercials, the Jaga Bonito, all that. My favorite player was Ronaldinho from Brazil. So I was just super into football and I started freestyle. And yeah, I was on Beyond Football Forum every day, you know, talking with all the other freestylers. This is before Instagram, before all that stuff, and um, just been doing it since then. So yeah, I guess 2008 is when I really started. Out in LA like Lonzo, 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 yeah. You know I don't play like Lonzo, 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 yeah. I only yeah. shoot trees like Lonzo, 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 yeah. Triple B's on me like Lonzo, 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 yeah. Uh. Yeah, my first competition was actually Red Bull Street Style Ireland qualifier in 2009. So it was to go to the South Africa uh, Red Bull Street Style. And um, I lost in like the semi-final. That was a great experience. And then like the first like really big competition that I did, that I was doing good in was uh, Super Bowl 2010. Um, it wasn't even called Super Bowl yet. It was just European Championships. And um, I actually... After my routine, I was seated number 31. So there was only 32, and I just just squeezed in number 31. So I was against number two, and it was Scora. So the next day, I battled Scora in the top 32, and I won. Three, two, one. Ten olivos to win out. Ten olivos. And that was like the first time I really did like a good performance at a competition, and it gave me good confidence to like, hey, I'm actually not bad. You know, I can I can keep doing this. So. Um, that was my first big like competition that I I did well at. So yeah, sorry all the Polish people for beating Skora. My apologies, but <laughs> yeah, I still love Skora so much, and he's a legend. Racks like U.S. Open, all this money in my account, and I produce all my own shit. I'm the CEO of my own biz. Yeah. I don't even know where my home is. Yeah, I graduated from DCU, but I don't even use my diploma. Yeah, um, I be on Graphic Street. They saw me now, they be snapping me. Uh, freestyle impacted everything on my life. Like you know, my whole life wouldn't be the same without freestyle it gave me the opportunity to travel it gave me the opportunity to like just open new doors for myself and you know crazy experiences like doing big performances in front of a lot of people um, being on like TV shows um, meeting a lot of famous people or meeting interesting people traveling around and uh, it gave me like all the experiences that I've had today and most importantly Apart from all that, that's, that stuff is cool, but most importantly, it gave me uh, true friends all over the world, all every different country, um, just a lot of great friends who have, even all the way until now, 10 years later, I'm still good friends with them, and uh, the community aspect is really like the most special thing about freestyle to me. I think it's amazing. You see all the freestylers right here behind me, like it's crazy, everyone just hanging out, having fun for no reason, just love loving freestyle. So. Um, yeah, without freestyle, my life would not be the same for sure. It's the one, number one most important thing that ever happened to me in my life. So very grateful for freestyle. So I guess my best achievement, I would say, is, is probably 2012 Red Bull Street Style when I finished uh, second place. I lost against Tokura in the final. It was cool though because I really didn't expect to go very far. I thought, okay, if I get to the top 16, that's like my goal. I'll be so, so happy. And I got to the top 16 and I just... I kept winning the battles and I was like in the final and I was what the hell my brain was just like not working and then you know shout out to Takura he's amazing so he beat me in the final but that was a great achievement for sure I'm very happy with that
you know, I always felt a little bit of like, damn man, I was so close, I almost became world champion second, because nobody really cares about second, you know, second place is like, eh, whatever, but I'm still proud of it, I still think it, it, um, it proved that, you know, I was doing very well at that time, so I'm happy with it, but apart from that, um, I really feel like my biggest achievement is just like once again the community things like when I was uh, setting up the Amsterdam meetings 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012 so um, things like that and just overall trying to um, make funny videos for the community or make entertaining stuff, make cool stuff and just yeah I, I, I'm proud of the fact that um, you know I'm able to have a good impact on the sport so that makes me a lot prouder than any you know competitive stuff so I'm just happy when people come up to me and say yo I, lo I love your videos or I think you're funny whatever I like that a lot more than like competitions so I'm happy with uh, with everything Ooh, well now the level is so crazy like I look at a 12 year old kid and they're like way better than me I'm like damn bro what the hell like what who are these kids but um yeah I think that there's there's good things and bad things, you know, in the past it was smaller, so you would come to Super Bowl, maybe there's only 50 people, 100 people, so you can talk with everybody, you can be friends with everybody. Now it's 400 people, you can't be friends with everybody, it's too much people, you, don't, you look at some people and you don't even know, is that a freestyler, is that a freestyler, like, it's too many people, so it's good because the sport's growing, but it's also a bad side where it's a little bit harder to maintain the community, you know. Um, because it's getting bigger so I think that it's it's just growing and growing and growing but uh, I think it's mostly good some parts are a little bit worse but I think overall it's going in a very healthy direction so I'm looking forward to see what happens So I think the future of freestyle uh, is going to be very bright. I think it's going in a positive direction. I, I want to see more competitions. You know, we only have like Red Bull Street Style, F3, and even those is not very consistent. So I want to see more competitions. I want to see more sponsors. And hopefully, if people can keep, um, you know, just keep doing their best, then those things will happen. And I think for all the young freestylers out there, don't wait for the competitions. You know, do your thing. Keep training hard. Um, if you're into like the whole social media thing, do that, focus on that. that. That will always bring you opportunities no matter what, you know, if you have a good good following on social media. So I think just keep doing your thing and also don't forget to, you know, care about the community and have your own events, even if it's just, hey, let me meet up with my uh, friends who live in the other city. Let's train, let's hang out, just keep the scene growing. And that's it, but I think the future is very bright. Man, Super Bowl is, is the greatest um, experience as a freestyler, in my opinion. Like, it's a pure community event, you know, it's uh, everyone who comes here, they do it for the love of the sport. It's not like, um, you know, for fame or money or big companies as big sponsors, nothing. It's just the real freestylers, the real community. It's not about social media. It's not about nothing. It's just freestyle. You see everyone out here freestyling, like we already freestyled earlier in the morning at Tesco up there. Now everyone's freestyling here. I'm sure in a few hours, everybody will be at the night gym. It's just nonstop. And you get to meet everybody from the whole world, you know, 400 people is the biggest meeting in freestyle, it's the biggest event. If you're not at Super Bowl, you're missing out big time. This is my sixth year, I think, maybe seventh, sixth, something like that. But um, yeah, it's always the most fun. It's always a great experience. So if anyone out there hasn't been Super Bowl, make sure you come. It's it's a once in a lifetime experience. It's really good. Oh, really shit, good. Like, uh, Lonzo, Lonzo, Lonzo. Hey. Lonzo, 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 yeah. Wow. Lonzo, Lonzo, Lonzo. What? Lonzo, 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 yeah. You know I'm going ball. Mm, my goals in freestyle, not really. I think I've already achieved the goals I wanted to. Um, I, I'm kind of older now, so I'm in a different kind of path in my life. I'm very happy with everything I did in freestyle. I did have one last goal. I was like, I want to do like PATV. You know, I don't want to stop until I, I got that like two months ago. I know that these days PATV is like an easy trick. Everybody can do it, but um, it's like a classic trick. You know, I want to, I say, okay, every... Like, if I want to be a true freestyler, I need to, like, make sure I got PATV, you know, good. So, that was my last goal. Now my goals is just um, have fun, come to all the events, you know, support the younger freestylers like you guys and everybody doing their thing. And um, hopefully just still be entertaining with my videos and just being around and having fun and just bringing a smile to people's face. That will, that will be my goal. 
um, but in terms of like competing or landing this trick or doing this, whatever, I'm good. You know, I've, I'm happy with what I've done and uh, it's time to give the younger generation the, the window to do their thing because I'm getting old. I'm the old man right now, so yeah. <laughs> Yo, what? Yo. Yo. Yo, that's the YouTuber girl. Yo, I'm subscribed to you. Yo. I think the worst thing about freestyle is that um, there's no structure for the athletes. You know, if you look at other sports, tennis, volleyball, basketball, you have support from different, um, the government, you have support from the Olympics, you have support from sponsors. Uh, as a freestyler, you know, it's, it's difficult. Like, you look at somebody who maybe is the world champion, but how do they earn money, you know? How do they live? Maybe they need to go work in a regular job and they do training after the job. But it's crazy, you know, if you're one of the best in the world at your sport, you should have the resources to just focus on your sport like a real athlete. You know, Michael Phelps, he's not working at the supermarket and then swimming. You know, it's like, you're, he's the best. He has the money, he has the resources. He can just wake up every day and say, okay, I'm just gonna train my sport. So I think with freestyle, I would say the worst thing is the lack of funding, the lack of financial support for the athletes. Um, but it's okay, you know, it's, it's very early days still. And it's fine that that's not happening yet. I'm sure it's gonna happen in the future. And when it does happen, it's gonna change freestyle a little bit. We're gonna lose some of the community aspect because that always happens when you bring money into things, you lose a little bit of the, the, pure, the pureness of it. So it's okay that it hasn't happened yet, but I'm sure it will happen eventually. And um, yeah, I would just like to see it a little bit more professional and also more competitions. We need more competitions, bigger competitions with real companies supporting it. I think that's the worst thing so far, yeah. Yo, soccer game, here we go, man, here we go. Like, I think Polish freestyle, I think Poland was the first true country to have its own community, like, really, really, like, their own style, their own culture. Like, I remember all of the Freestyle Poland compilation. If you look at this film, you remember that freestyle football has nothing to do with the sport. It's two different disciplines. Freestyle Poland 1, Freestyle Poland 2, Freestyle Poland 3, Freestyle Poland 4, like, um, and those, when they would come out, like, the whole community would just be like, what the fuck? Like, I remember Freestyle Poland 4, and it was just like, I was watching it over and over and over, and it was like, you know, all the best players, just their, like, secret clips, you know, like, Mikris combos, Skora combos, Zegan, all the guys, like, it was just sick, um, so yeah, and I like the Polish sense of humor, you know, it's kind of fucked up, like it's my sense of humor is, is similar, so um, I've always enjoyed hanging out with all the Polish guys, and obviously not to mention that the talent is so high. Um, so yeah man, shout out to Poland, I think they're doing a great job as always, you guys always have a great community, so shout out to Poland. One time I was at Focus on Freestyle too, that was my only time in Poland, um, so I had a lot of fun, so yeah, shout out to Poland. Polska. Zichu. Zichu. Yeah, man, I love making music. I've always loved it. Um, I make beats, I rap. Um, check me out on Spotify, YouTube, SoundCloud, everywhere, iTunes. Um, and yeah, man, I just love it. I love doing freestyle, I love music. And I try to do something almost in the middle of both, you know, like joining kind of like the like hip hop and trap culture with like my image and everything that I do. And um, just yeah, just making it some swag shit, kind of like my own little my own little world that nobody's doing. So yeah, I love it a lot, and I I, uh, I can't wait to see like where I where I go with music. Uh, I think it's it's something that I get a lot of joy out of. I love doing it, even if nothing happens. I still love making it, but um, hopefully I can succeed more and more in music as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, underlay, underlay. You cannot tell me what not to say. They love my beats like I'm Dr. Dre. If I keep this up, I might sign a J. Rockefeller, yeah, I gotta tell you all I care about is stacking lots of cheddar. I'll be flyer than a helicopter propeller. Man, cut the beat, I'll go acapella. Yeah, I mean, the pranks is basically like, I like doing crazy stuff. I like kind of like shocking people and doing something not normal, so I think that as a freestyler, I had a good opportunity because all the pranksters on the internet, they're just doing regular pranks. But I said if I can mix football with the pranks, 
then it's a whole new audience and it's something people never saw before. So I feel like all the freestylers, you know, Adidas will send them like a ball and then they have to be like, oh, like I love this ball so much. Thank you, Adidas. Oh my God, it's the best ball in the planet. I was like, man, it would be funny if I just get this ball and just fucking kick it in the river. Yo, what's up guys? Today I'm super excited. I got the new World Cup ball. This shit is crazy. Man, I'm too hyped about this. Uh, yo, so you guys know me as a freestyler, so you, you know I gotta test out the touch. So let's see what the touch is like. Uh. Oh shit, that's sick. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Yo, that is the best touch I've ever seen in my life. That's the best touch of all time. Like, I, I'm a little bit like, uh, you know, kind of just, I like doing stuff that nobody else is doing. So I just wanted to do some funny stuff like that. And um, when it started, when I started doing it, I was like, damn, if I do a stupid prank, it gets like 100,000 views. If I do my best combo, PATV combo seven, no touch, it gets like 1,000 views. So it's like, I'm just going to do all the pranks, bro. It gets more views. So I think it's funny. I think that I don't take it very serious, you know, and I never want to do any pranks that like hurt somebody. Just if I'm the joke, then it's okay. So I feel like I enjoy doing it. I'll keep doing them. I like making people laugh. So if people think it's funny, I'm going to keep doing it. And um, yeah, maybe I'll do some pranks at Super Bowl this year. Watch out for it. I have a good idea already. I'll tell you after. I got a good idea. I'm going to do it for sure. <laughs> That didn't just happen. Daniel got hit. Oh. <laughs> Daniel got hit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I live in New York right now. I make a living by basically just being a personality in on Instagram and uh, with freestyle and football and all that type of stuff. So, um, you know, certain companies will just reach out and use me to promote certain things. Uh, maybe it's working with Puma. Maybe it's working with Adidas. Maybe it's working with... Um, whatever coca-cola whatever just posting stuff um making brand deals on instagram doing some live performances in, in around the u.s with freestyle and stuff like that so yeah i'm trying to keep growing my instagram so i can do that and and uh you know be able to keep going with those opportunities um but yeah i'm having a great time right now life is good i'm, I'm enjoying it and um yeah as long as i can keep doing what i like to do and be myself i'm, I'm gonna be super grateful so yeah everything's going good it's good to play freestyle because it's fun for real it's so fun i love it it's fun that's that's my favorite reason that's it Yo, shout out to Just Freestyle, man. Appreciate you guys. Go check out their channel and everything. They're doing a great job promoting freestyle. So, yeah, big shout out to them. And uh, hopefully see you guys at Super Bowl next year. Hey, gang shit. Ugly gang. We lit. <laughs> Thank you very much. No problem, bro. Ooh, good questions, man. I liked it.